to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. When you place your faith entirely in the prophetic, you are an idol worshiper. Even if it's genuine prophetic, our faith should be on Jesus. The Bible calls Jesus, not the prophetic, the author and the finisher of our faith. Are we together? Now, let me speak over your life. You don't have to kneel or stand, just believe. I've been commanded to bless and he has granted grace and I want you to believe. Believe, we have been commanded to bless. I've told you what it does. We can take advantage of time and program spiritual possibilities. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for as many who will believe, as many whose hearts will be open between now and December 31st, may my God give you a reason to laugh. May my God give you a reason to laugh. May my God give you a reason to laugh. Number two, every long-standing issue that has been around your life and your family and has refused to bow to the name of the Lord, I'm declaring some of you in a matter of days, that situation comes to an end. Number three, please receive this one. I want to speak over your finances. I truly got up this morning and I was concerned and burdened in my heart. There are many people right now who are dying of high blood pressure. They love the Lord. Pastors, individual, but this money thing. There are people who are already at the corridors of compromise because of tea and bread. Business did not seem to work this year. There are couples that are about to tear apart right now and it's because of money. Let me speak over your life. In the name that is above all names, hear me anyone here who is in any financial condition that is for shame and for reproach in the name of jesus come out of it now by the ministry of destiny help us come out of it now i speak to every family here that all you have seen in your family is crying and languishing in the name that is above all names i open you up to a season of laughter there are family members that have not seen eyeball to eyeball in the name of jesus may the reconciler in this season bring reconciliation Hear me, I am led to specially, I'm sensing in my spirit now to pray for couples that have been far apart, either because of visa issues, someone, husband is in America, wife is in Nigeria for four years, they've not seen themselves, they've not seen their children, in the name of Jesus, if there is anyone like that under the sound of my voice, I declare supernaturally, may the Lord bring connection. Anyone here carrying the cause of death? You are already seeing dead people in your dreams. You are already having all kinds of demonic destructive things. Listen, listen, hold on please. My apologies for taking your time. Do you know, in the last three weeks, one of the case, the case that I've seen that in my email and text messages is people having breathing problems. Somebody just gets up and we're not talking COVID though. You can't breathe again. Let me pray for someone. If there is any manifestation of the spirit of death, 
translating to any cardiovascular disease to cut short your life i decree and declare be free from it now yes. koinonia hear me your sleep is not for death you will not die in your sleep yes. your travel is not for death you will not die on the road Please help them. The prophetic. Every hand that has been brought down in shame and you are saying, Lord, will I remain like this? Prophetically, I hold your hand. I lift it up. May it remain lifted forever. Anyone here having a court case or any legal issue that is about to eat up your family, by all means, I prophesy favor and mercy for you. Yes. Hallelujah. Anyone here called barren, that your womb has refused to take in, I don't care what the medical condition is. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I speak over you. Between now and the end of this year, may a miracle start in your life. Please be patient. I don't know who has forgotten you and because they forgot you all kinds of needless hardship some of you are surrounded by people that if they were led by God to remember you the truth is that shame will be rolled away from your life any spirit that has made them forget you in the name of Jesus right now I open the book of remembrance And for any one of you who has misused opportunities that were once opened because of carelessness and now that door is closed, I prophesy restoration for you. Please hear me. Any altar and any coven and any shrine carrying anybody's name or any family to say you will not rise that in this December for you it will be tears while others are laughing I call upon my God in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy may that altar catch fire now <laughs> hallelujah two more speakings and we're done hear me there is a spirit that always leads men to trouble. You get up in the morning in peace. You will just go somewhere you are not supposed to go. And you just see police come and they say, everybody here, just go to the police station. Why? When you get there, we'll tell you. Can I tell you the truth? It says, lead us not into temptation. Is that in your Bible? Lead us not into temptation. I know people who were minding their business. Someone came and said, let me introduce you to one business somewhere. They didn't know it was fraud. They sincerely just came because they wanted to make meaning. Right now, they are in trouble. Anything that is a temptation, anything that is the devil directing you to put you in trouble, right now, make a U-turn spiritually. Make a U-turn spiritually. Hear me? Every transaction, every connection, every fraternity with troublemakers that can implicate you legally, can implicate you spiritually, can bring reproach to your name and your family. May my God take you far from it. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The final prayer now that I pray for you. I'm praying... Whether you have children or not, anybody under your care is your child. Can I tell you, you will not use your money to manage evil. Yeah. There are people just when families are ready to rise, you will hear that their child is in police station. You will hear that someone is sick. You heard the story of, I think someone, the lady who was healed here. I know a bit about these kidney things. And let me tell you, when you have a loved one that has a kidney situation, be ready to 
put between 10 to at least 15 million to manage them and that not even with a guarantee they will survive i'm saying it again every trap of the enemy to bring joy and sadness to your family to your life to your children let it be averted finally right now for some of you it is with your own eyes your own ears and your own mind god will use to prophesy to you it will not even be another prophet you will go to lie down and what you wanted to meet someone to show you my god will show you using your own faculties hear me some of you you will be praying and the spirit of prophecy will come on you and you will start prophesying when you are done praying you will see that that prophecy was for you let me add one more prayer there are some of you who truly need an encounter with human vessels you have encountered the prophecy of scripture but you have been afraid because there are all kinds of people playing gimmicks i want to pray a special prayer for you the prophetic voice that god needs to lead you to so that you will hear to give you accuracy and precision i call upon god between now and the end of december i connect you to that prophetic voice Shout a loud amen. I connect you to that prophetic voice. Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you this for free. The day you actually encounter a man that God has helped with the prophetic, with character to help you and give you perspective, in five minutes, the confusion of 10, 20, 50 years, the blueprint of your destiny can be opened like you open a room that has been locked for a long time. I'm saying it one last time. You don't need to meet everybody. You have been meeting people not sent to you, even though they are accurate. He said there were many widows in Zarephath, but to none was Elijah sent. Just because a man can prophesy does not mean he's sent to you. In the name of Jesus, even if it's momentarily, I don't know what prophetic voice has been sent to bring perspective and direction and rest to your life. Find them now. Find them now. Find them now. Find them now. And if there is anyone who prophesied upon you, and that prophecy is not accurate yet you have been acting upon that inaccuracy and is torturing and destroying your life in the name of Jesus I release you from the effect of it now <laughs> wave your hands to Jesus and thank him for tonight's service by this time tomorrow you return with a testimony like the prophet over Samaria and in the name of Jesus, before I make the altar call, Nigeria will prophesy to you by this time tomorrow. Tomorrow here may not just mean physical tomorrow, but we speak over the tomorrow of Nigeria. We prophesy in Nigeria where national shame and reproach is rolled away. Apostle, I need Jesus and I need him right now. I cannot say for sure that I'm walking with God. Please keep standing. We're wrapping up. Apostle, as I'm standing here hearing you, I can truly say that I need Jesus. Please lend me your attention. There are two groups of people right now I want to call. Those who are saying there is nothing to hide. I want to come and surrender genuinely to Jesus. There are others who are saying I've given my heart to the Lord. But right now, I, things have gone, my life is scattered, I need direction. I'm going to count one to five. Without any shame and any sense of inferiority, I want you to come and stand right in front here. You know that you want to make it right with Jesus. God bless you as you come. One, Koinonia, let's honor them. Carry your bags, your Bibles, and whatever you came with, and please walk to the front. Two. The moment I count five, I'll begin to pray. Please, if you're coming, hasten your, your steps. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Let's encourage them. Three. 
your bags, your Bibles, everything you came with, come and make it right with Jesus, the captain of your salvation, the prophet of prophets. Four. Apostle, I remember getting saved, but I'm not sure. You can be sure. Join them. Join them. You can be sure. You can make it right. And those who are following online, here's your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life. All our overflows, please move to your LED screens outside. Move to your screens. Jesus is giving you a new beginning right now. What an honor to lead you to his majesty tonight. Five. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for making this bold decision. Please, you're joining them. Come very quickly. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Please lift your right hand, may I request, as a sign of surrender to heaven. And say this after me loud and clear. Please, you're joining them. Join quickly. When you come after the prayer, someone would have to lead you to pray that prayer. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life from tonight until forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones the many who are following us online and all the overflows in the name of jesus by the integrity of god's word i declare your sins forgiven and i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life I release you from every guilt and shame and I declare that from tonight it is a new beginning for you. You go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. Please let me request that you all move very briefly to my right which will be your left. There are counselors ready to receive you. They'll have a word with you very briefly. It'll be very brief I promise you and then you'll be back. Let's celebrate them as they go. Is this the best you can do, Koinonia? Celebrate them as they go. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.